In this video I want to talk about the number E and I'll do that through the use of a, a standard scientific calculator. Here I have a sharp scientific calculator but it functions as most scientific calculators do these days so hopefully this will make sense. Now if you want to know what the number E is on a calculator the easiest way to do it is find your E button and so most scientific calculators have the E button in two different places. One you can see here, I've got this lowercase e in green. That's just the number e. And then more commonly you'll have something like this button here, which is e to the x power. So that's what most calculators will definitely have. Um, some will have another e button. Okay, so on this particular calculator, if I want to know what e is, I can just use my green alpha button and then hit this, this key here since the lowercase e is in green and then hit equals down at the bottom. And you can see that it gives me this decimal approximation of the number E, 2.71828, etc. Now realize that this number has been rounded. There are more digits after that. My calculator will only give me this many digits, however. Okay, so what if your calculator does not have the E button, but instead has E to the X power? How can you see what the number E is? Well, on this particular calculator, e to the x is in orange, so I would use my second button since it's orange, hit my e to the x power, and now it's expecting an exponent in my input. And if I want to know what e is, I could do e to the first power, hit equals, and I get the same thing. Okay? And so if you want to know e to any power, you could use the e to the x button. So I'll hit second e to the x because on this calculator it's in orange so I use my second button and if I want to know e to the negative 2.56 power I could just type that in as my exponent and hit equals and there we go and you could do much more complex comp calculations if you want to know 200 times e to the 2.6 power and I want to add something to it, then I hit the right arrow to get out of the exponent, plus, let's say, 5. So I've got 200 times e to the 2.6 power plus 5. Hit equals, and it will do that calculation as well. So that's an introduction to the, to the number e through the use of a calculator. Uh, again, most scientific calculators work the same way. And the number E is a very common number. It's a very natural number. It shows up in nature. It shows up in interest calculations. It shows up in logarithms in lots of different places. So E is a very common number. Not as common as our, our friend pi, but very similar to pi and almost as common. So I hope this has been helpful.